sorry, I just don't like how you can like see the back of the TV. This stain on my neck, I was eating dinner on my couch, and so I had the plate up like this, you know? And I guess I was like tilting the plate toward my face. I look down and I see that a lot of the oil has left the plate, and I'm like, oh, I know what this means. I look down and I'm like, ugh, not really that bad, I, you know, but yeah, I, I slept in the shirt, okay? I cleaned the oil off, I tried, thought I did, but honestly, like, I don't think I did that good of a job because it's still there. Today was supposed to be a cloudy day, but it's actually looking very sunny. Let me show you. Um, yeah, very sunny. I'm like, I don't want to waste a good Saturday. I want to get some stuff for the walls, you know? I have a few ideas, but I want to go and just run around and find some little knickknacks, little knickknack type stores. When it was cloudy this morning, I was like, eh, I can wait. But now it looks like I can't wait. <laughs> I have been loving my notes app recently, always having these little one-off ideas. And I'm like, oh, I'll remember that. And then I don't. Breaking news, woman discovers the power of note-taking. Like this is not innovative technology here, but it's getting me. coffee it's about 8 30 ish a.m i'm gonna go to the park today i got my frames yesterday i hung them up as you saw but i have two more so i'm just gonna like draw some stuff and put them in there because two of the big frames i hung up i drew both of those normally i was the queen of printing things out <laughs> from pinterest like i would get the gloss paper print out like all these prints i don't know i'm trying this new like make the stuff that you hang up on your wall Thing. Does that make sense? I was gonna do it yesterday and I was like, I'm gonna save it for today, go to the park, have a cute little drawing in the park moment. I saw this TikTok and he said that so much of living in New York is convincing yourself that you don't need a treat. It's popping into my head today because I'm cleaning the dust out of my corners, by the way. Living here is so constantly tempting to just leave the house and go do something because you're like, there's so much to do. No, no, we don't need to be doing something every day. I'm lecturing myself right now. I'm like, oh, it's Sunday. Like maybe I could go to a little cafe. You're like, no, stay home and clean. That's what I need to be doing today. What a sad transition. Is this adulthood? I think so. The most embarrassing thing about laundry day for me is that first of all, there's just something like very vulnerable about carrying your dirty laundry in a bag down the street. I don't know what it is, but my laundry bag, I got this like freshman year of college, says laundry down the side as if it's not already obvious what's in this bag and where I'm going, but it has a giant white label to just let everyone know, hey, that girl's doing laundry. She's got laundry. Like, I, don't know, I just feel like so embarrassed every time. So I like, I carry it with the laundry label facing me so that no one sees it. I mean, everyone knows what's going on, but I'm like, is the label really necessary? Is she trying to show off? Like this, like, you know, what, what's going on there? Why, 
why do we need the label? You know what I'm saying? So if you're a freshman in college and you're gonna buy a laundry bag, it doesn't need a label, all right? It didn't matter to me at the time, but now I'm like, really? Like, it's obviously a laundry bag. What's, what's the label really doing here? I think I'm gonna make a little journey to Whole Foods because I ran out of probiotics. Side note, interesting revelation. If you have tummy issues, turns out the whole probiotics thing is not just propaganda. I used to have a lot of tummy issues Probiotics really like get the job done. Who would have thought, you know? I think sometimes I'm a little bit on the conspiracy side and I'm like, oh, every vitamin thing that is marketed to me is actually placebo and a waste of money and I will not buy it. Turns out maybe that's not so true. my couch i have a sweet potato in the oven the oven no actually i can't figure out how to make my oven work let me show you actually actually so i have a gas oven which i've had many times before i am no stranger to the gas appliance okay so it's not that it might still be that but i'm just saying like so this button turns the flame on the flame doesn't stay on there's also no temperature marking so you know what that's what microwaves are made for also those are fly traps if you watched the last video you would know why i have 50 million fly traps in there whatever irrelevant i'm choosing to move forward in peace the week is winding down you know things are coming to a close my potato we'll finish that story later Mmm, it's gonna make my camera steamy. Ow, 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 ow. This is a fat potato too, I hope it's like ready. I might have to put it in for a little longer. Eh, feels okay. Let's stab it. Let's see if she's ready. Um, yeah, that's, that's good enough. For two weeks, my hard drive with all of my footage of my previously filmed YouTube videos that I Oh my god, uh, I have been staring at my laptop for like, oh my god, like actually, ooh, there's like a pressure like in between my eyes. I'm not even kidding, it actually really hurts. I have some like blue light glasses, I really should start wearing those. This is not, not a normal feeling. Anyways. Anyways, work done, week done. It's Friday. It's been getting a little chilly, a little fall breeze in the air. I don't know, something about fall just really gets me nostalgic. I don't even know how to describe it. It'll just be like random spurts throughout the day where all of a sudden I can feel every past version of me from every fall before is right there, like right beneath the surface of me. And it's so weird. I hope it makes sense the way I'm describing it, but this happens to me every year. It's so weird. Like it's just like this overwhelming nostalgia is like just the best word I can find for it. I've been trying to spend more alone time, not to be like, I'm spending alone time. Like, shut up, we get it, okay, we get it. It's a new development in my life and trying to figure out how to have fun by myself. I've been seeing this phrase online about being a teenage girl in her 20s. <laughs> that is so true. Like that is really, really true. Despite how true it is, there definitely are some subtle changes occurring where I'm like, okay, that's not very like, teenage minded of me. This little solo era journey is like definitely a part of that. I was trying to think of like something fun I could do. I've been craving. Craving, craving, craving. Banana pudding. I'm gonna get some banana pudding. Happy weekend. Let's go get some pudding. And I sent 